Hello ladies and welcome to another nail design. I'm going to start off today with Orly Bonder as my base coat and I'm just going to paint this on my nails and just let it dry. It dries very very fast. Next I'm going to use Zoya Ray. This is a very deep emerald green color. Um, it's really pretty, kind of reminded me of a pine tree or something, so that's why I decided to use this for this design. Um, so I'm going to take that and I'm just going to paint two coats on my index finger and on my middle finger, and then I'm going to let that dry. Um, even though this polish is somewhat sheer and it does take two coats to be completely opaque, it actually does go on very smoothly, um, and it, it's pretty easy to work with, other than the fact that it is somewhat sheer. Next on the other nails, I'm going to use this Finger Paints polish. It is called Key to My Art, and this is a very, very pretty gold color. It's kind of a muted gold, as you can see. It's not a bright, bright orangey gold. It's a very kind of light-colored metallic, and really this goes on perfectly in one coat, but I did use two just to make sure everything was fully covered, and I'm going to use that on all of my other nails. Next up is this glitter by OPI. This is called Wind Monkeys Fly and it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to paint about two coats of that over all of the nails that I painted with the Zoya Ray polish, the green polish. Um, and I did have to do one coat of glitter and then kind of let it dry and then go back over it just to make sure I got enough hex glitters to get the effect that I wanted. Next I'm going to stamp with this Conad polish in moss green. Excuse my label here, but I just make my own because Conad never labels their polishes and it drives me up the wall. Um, I'm going to use this cheeky Happy Holidays plate from the 2013 Jumbo Collection and this swirly Christmas tree image you see here. Um, I'm just going to use my normal stamping routine. Um, lately I've been using just kind of a fake credit card as a scraper. I actually like it better than the other scrapers that I have because it's a bit more flexible and so I just think it kind of cleans the plate a little bit more. And even though this is off frame here, again I apologize. Um, you can see the image and how it stamps over the gold polish. It doesn't stick out just very very vibrantly but it does add a nice little effect over the gold. The gold is really pretty enough to stand on its own, so that really doesn't bug me that much at all. Okay, and finally I'm going to clean up. I just have a little dappen dish full of acetone or nail polish remover, and I just dip a small kind of eyeshadow cosmetic brush. I think this is an e.l.f. brush. I don't really remember, but this is what I use to clean up around my nails, and you just clean up all around the edges, and then apply a top coat. I use Sesh V for this nail design. So here are a couple final pictures. Of course, you don't have to do this exact look. You can use different colors or different images. It's just to inspire you. So have a wonderful Christmas, and I'll see you in the next video.